channel showsy wozy guys thank you please don't forget to subscribe share like and comment down below and share to friends and family thank you so much guess what i'm so excited today <laughs> yes because today is my seven days upload challenge the end of the seven days upload challenge so i'm so happy the end of the seven days upload challenge today yes and guess what i'm gonna be preparing something special for you guys something really special and guess what it is is my melon seed soup with a dash of spinach melon melon seed soup with a dash of spinach and in nigeria we call it a foil goosey yes i'm gonna be preparing a foil legacy you guys please watch as i take you along and guess what we have decided not to use the palm you know the um the powdered pounded yam we decided to use the blender for the pounded yam so i will let you see that as well so because we are going to be using this this blender this amazing blender we're going to be using it for the pounded yam so pando yam with the efo elegusi yes and these are all my ingredients i will be showing you how my ingredient i'm so excited okay guys i'm going to be showing you how the ingredients i'm going to use this is my assorted meat um i've got this uh, i've got the meat here i've got um the cow leg there as well assorted meats we have the i've got the tripe i've got um gizzard um stock i've got some um, stockfish yes so all the assorted meats in there because i'll add that in i've got some um, spicy powdered pepper i've got my no I've got um, crayfish and the favorite mellow seed. I've got that as well. That's the favorite mellow seed. And someone might be wondering how come this color is different. Yes, that's that's a different brush. It was mixed with a bit of um, red pepper. So yes, I've got that. And I've got my smoked fish here. And I've got my locust beans i'm going to be putting this locust beans as well and this is dry fish mm, that's the finish and that is bitter leaf okay so and that is where my tomatoes um my tomatoes and um, red pepper garlic ginger and onions is in here so i'm going to blend that together and my red oil this is just my this is also my vegetable cube i'm going to make use of that and my palm oil goes first okay let's go yeah amazing people so the first thing that goes in here is the palm oil that is the palm oil okay and then the locust beans goes next and um, this is my locust beans i always mix it with water because just to make sure that there's no sand or anything you know i don't know so i always make sure that i mix it with water and then scoop it out and then and add it to the oil and then after the oil, I will just be putting my um, blended pepper. Okay, I'm sure you guys are familiar with always blending my pepper before any, before most like before most of my food. So I'm gonna put this blended pepper next. Local beans is frying right now, so now I'm putting the pepper. Local beans, then now the pepper. So this is still the pepper. This is the pepper, and um. That's just the pepper that has been there. So right now I'm going to add some other things. So this is just pepper and locust beans. You know, um, after the palm oil, I put the locust beans and then I just put the um, pepper. So the next thing I'm going to put is 
what I used to do is, for example, this is my dry fish. I put things like this because it takes some time to absorb. So I, I used to, anything that is dry, I always use my hot water to make sure that it's well clean. So this also hot water and salt has been soaked with hot water and salt for a while. So I'm going to make sure I wash it very well and then I will add this here. So I need to quickly add that in so I want it to be to absorb in the stew. Okay, and the same thing I'm going to do to this um, um, smoke fish. I'm going to put, I'm going to add some hot water, and then I have to. I always make sure I clean it very well before I add that in. So I'll be doing those two now. And um, this is my spinach, so that one will be coming in later. And I've got this my bitter leaf. Okay, and also I always put this is um, dry prawn. So I always put this in the hot water as well before I actually add that in. But this, I just put it straight in. This is also a prawn body, a um, blended one. Okay, guys. Um, oh, my now, God. I've just had my... Here it is. Um, my prawn. I've just had my prawn in there. So it's in here already. So that's the prawn. The dry prawn is here. So that's it. And then I'm going to have my... I prefer, I always make sure, I don't like putting the whole one in here. I like washing it, cleaning it very well, and getting rid of most of the bones. So it makes it easier when people are eating my um, a foie, a leg, you see. Okay, so I'm just going to add that in. And make sure, don't forget to always clean your hand before before you cook, okay? Because you'll be making use of your hand for a, a whole lot of things. Okay, so I'm just putting that in. And I just... I'm putting my hand to get, I saw some bones, so I'm just trying to get it because um, one of the people who's going to be eating my food does not like, can't stand the, can't stand bones, so I just want to make sure it's all. So now I'm going to mix that up, and guess what I'll be putting next? All my assaulted meat going in now. Okay, all assorted meat is in. So it depends on you. Anything you want to put, just make sure you put it in. And then it soaks into, um, it absorbed into the steel very well, okay? And the next, so I'll let, I'll let it cook for a little while. And the next thing I'll be, uh, my, my mellow seed, I'll mix this up with my, I'll mix it up with my pepper, my blended pepper, okay? I'll mix this two hot, and I'll be putting that later, okay? And the last thing that comes in is going to be this um, spinach with um, bitter leaf. With this mix bitter this leaf. dry pepper and the mellow seed. We mix this together, and this is what it gives me. This is what it gives me. So guys, I had to use my hand because it does the better job than anything so god has a reason for giving us our hand so okay so um this is my technique this is my style so i put it in a bit like i just pinch it a little bit and put it in like that okay and that's how i do it and i'm just going to do that continuously to everything and i'll cover it up and you will see how it comes okay guys so now I put the locust seed there. I'm going to cover that up for at least another five minutes um, just to make sure it's well cooked. And the last thing I'm going to be putting is my spinach. Actually, I use ugu. <laughs> so this is ugu, actually. Guys, you that you know ugu. That's, and that's my bitter leaf. So that's my ugu. So yes, um, so I'm going to be putting that last. I'm going to drain it. So I'm just using that hot water to just make sure that it's clean. I put a little salt as well just to clean it up and then I'm covering this up. So this actually cooking this um egusi soup it, it just takes to me it just takes like about 40 minutes so far really about 40 minutes it's just when the pepper is cooking that it takes a little while and not so long I mean the pepper cook for about 15 15 to 20 minutes and then you you had in all your assaulted to make sure that it's actually get um, absorbed in it and that's for another five to ten minutes and now you're had um, um, you're having the um mellow um the, the mellow seed in there with the um uh, mixing it with the rounded pepper 
and you yeah, put it and that's what is on top right now so i'm covering that up for a little while for just about five minutes to steam very well before i actually have my um spinach there okay okay guys so my melon seed is melon seed is well cooked now so now i'm going to mix that up a little bit and now uh, i'm going to mix that up and then had my um spinach that is ready like i said this is ugo so i'm going to have that in guys have a look at this this is mixing my melon my, my melon seed this is mixing it together so it has it has that look like it's egg so and that's because of the way i put it in so yes that's it that's how it looks okay i've now had my spinach now to eat and this is the finishing this is the finishing my efuele gusi is ready i'm gonna dish it out and you will see how it is and um yes we like using this this is what we love to in nigeria they love using it to eat in your so right now i'm boiling my yam in which i'm going to use to do the pando yam guys and this is my f4 legacy okay which is the melon seed soup with a dice with some spinach okay my melon seed soup with spinach so this is the yam now so i'm now going to be blending it so this is where this is i put the yam here so i have to put a little bit of water from the yam so in just to for the to be, to give that perfect um, texture okay so that's just a little bit of water in there so i'm closing it now and i'm going to blend it and you will see so i'm going to turn it on now and let's see how it goes so this is it now it's almost ready you can see guys so this is the powder yam is ready so we're going to be dishing it this ninja blender is the bomb mm. this is yummy yummy i'm enjoying 